Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the second day of art camp. This is a video for the five to seven year olds. And today we are going to be making a flower inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. So for our materials, you will need a paper plate or some kind of thing to put your paint on. You're going to need a glass of water to rinse your paintbrush in. You're gonna need a few different paintbrushes. Uh, I would recommend a small, a medium, and a larger size. If you don't have those, then I would just go with the medium. And a little bit of paper towel to wipe your bristles on. And then you're gonna also need the primary colors, which are blue, yellow, and red. And you're also gonna need white. So this project involves a little bit of paint mixing and um, talking about Georgia O'Keeffe. She is the artist that we are learning about. And she was really famous for making artwork that emphasized the, the subject. So whether she was painting a, a cow skull or a flower or a leaf, she wanted to make it huge on the paper. And she wanted to emphasize it to make it really stand out so that you couldn't miss it. All right, so before we get started with our drawing, we need to load our palette. To do that, we're gonna put all of our colors on here. So everyone might have different kind of colors. Um, just get a little blob. If you have like a spoon or something that you could scoop your color out with, that would be great. I am just using these tube things that I have, but uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of paint you have. The most important thing is when you squirt it out onto your palette, you want about a nickel size amount. Now you can always get more if you need more, but I find that about a nickel or a quarter size does the trick to get us to, to get you started. Um, let me get a little bit of red now. Shake. I have to shake mine because mine's a little bit. Um, I haven't used mine in a while. All right, we can always get more if we need more. And then I'm gonna get just a little bit of white and we're gonna need the white uh, later. All right, so I've loaded my palette and for us right now, I'm gonna just kind of move this out of the way because I need you to see my uh, canvas here. Okay, I'm gonna move the paint out of the way. Now, first, before we paint, we need to draw what we're gonna be painting onto our canvas here. I like to use a pencil for this. So to do this, we are gonna to try to draw one of Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers. Because as you know, she used to live in Seattle where it was hustle bustle everywhere, everyone was going places, and she felt like everyone was missing the subtle beauty that was all around them. So she started drawing her flowers really, really huge. It filled up the entire canvas because she wanted to, for everyone to stop what they were doing and look around them at the beauty that was all around them. So she was emphasizing that flower. Can you imagine if you drew a flower that was only this big right in the middle of your page and it was so tiny, you could barely even see it. Do you think anyone would stop and look? No, probably not, it would be too small. So today when we draw, we're gonna make it actually so big that our picture is actually just gonna fall right off the edges. It's not even gonna, we can't even see it all because it's gonna go off our page. So to start with, we need to make the center of the flower. Um, we're not gonna do it right in the middle of our page because putting it right in the middle is really quite boring. Everyone does that and we are trying to be a little bit different. So let's move it over a little bit. Okay, here's, and we're gonna make a squiggly middle line. It's like a circle, like a squiggly circle. Next, we need to dr draw a line going up, but not all the way. Now a straight line going down, but not all the way. A straight line going over, and another line going this way out. All right, good job. Now, if I'm going too fast, remember to pause the video so that you can catch up. All right, 
Now we're going to draw another line in between each of these. So in between these two, draw another line. Okay, now in between these two, draw another line. Now in between these two, draw another line. And now in between these two, draw another line. Now it kind of looks like sunshine, but it's not going to be sunshine. It's going to be a flower. So now let's start over here with this line coming up here. And we're going to turn, we're going to connect this line with this one. We're going to connect it and we're going to turn those into a flower petal. So watch me, I'm going to trace this line going up and I'm going to go out, curve at the top, curve, 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 come back around and go down that next one. Now I'm going to trace the middle of my flower. See my pencil? Aha, I got to another line. Now I'm going to come out this line, come out to, for another petal. It's going to go back and connect to right where we were a minute ago. Look, I've got two flower petals. All right, so now let's put your pencil on this line that we did for this previous petal. We're going to follow that, trace that middle part. And now we're going to go out this line and we're going to curve it. Ooh, it fell off the paper, but just imagine that it keeps drawing and it's going to connect right here back. Now all these rest of the petals, you're not actually gonna see the ends because it's so big that it's falling right off the paper. So for this next one, all you have to do is kind of curve out like that because we know, mom and dad, if you're there, you can kind of connect, connect these and shape the petals with your child. And this line here where we are, we're gonna come out a little bit and curve the other way. Now we're not gonna be able to see the whole petal, but you can imagine that it's curving out this way, and it's going to connect back to this other line. All right, now it's now this line that we connected to, it's going to have a petal connection as well. See? And we have two more to do. These two are petals, so we need the tops. So we're going to follow this line up. It's going to curve to the left and connect to the other line, okay? Now this big space, see how I have a big space here? Sorry about that. There's a big space. Well, we gotta put a, make it a petal. So we're gonna trace this straight part of our line and it's gonna curve to the right. And remember, it's, we're imagining that it's actually here and now we can pick it up here as it gets back on the canvas and trace and go down. All right, so now we have, let me count my petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals. And we have some space over here on the side. Now this is the background and this is our subject. And we have emphasized it and made it very large. Okay, to paint this, we are going to do um, a bright orange flower. So to make orange on your palette, you are going to get, we're gonna make, a, these are like um, our pretty colors that we squirted out. We're gonna make a new blob because we need a new color. So we're gonna scoop up some yellow with our brush. We're gonna move it over here to a new section and I'm gonna rinse my brush because that has yellow on it. So I'm gonna just dab, dab it in the water. You can see my water is turning yellow and then my brush is really soggy, full of water. And we, I do not want all that drippy water to get in my paint. So I'm gonna blot off my water on the paper towel. Okay. Now I need just a little bit of red, just a tip, you see? And I'm gonna mix that into my new blob of yellow. And as I mix it, you're gonna see it's changing colors. And what is it changing into? Orange, that's right. Okay, if I run out of this orange color while I'm painting, I can just mix some more. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna start painting my petals and it's okay if you get out of the lines, okay? All right, I'm gonna pause the video while I paint all my petals. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, now you can see that I have completely painted in my flower. The next step is to do my yellow center. So the middle of my flower, I'm gonna paint yellow 
And now I'm going to do a little bit of red. So there's yellow on my brush. So that means I need to wash it off because I'm about to switch colors. I'm going to just clean it in this water cup I have, wipe it on the side of my glass, and then blot off the extra water on my paper towel so that there's not drippy water. Now my red paint color, I'm going to go into that blob that I put down earlier, and I'm actually going to trace my lines. Okay, uh, each petal needs to be have its own. Um, we need to trace the lines on each little petal. And here at the base where it connects to the middle section, we're going to put our brush along that edge right there and flick and flick out. All right, let's try that again. We're going to trace our line, our pencil line all the way up until you get to the split of the petal. And then we're going to put our brush right where the yellow and the orange connect right on the edge and go flick and lift up your brush as it comes out, lift it. All right, good job. Now we're gonna trace this line out all the way to the edge. And now we're gonna put our brush here at the mm -hmm. center and bring it out and flick it up and lift it off the page. Okay, it's looking great. Now I'm gonna finish doing this and you guys um, keep on going. Now the very last step is to just outline our whole petal. So outline this little edge where the edge of our petal meets the background. And we're just gonna trace it with our paintbrush. We're gonna just outline it a little bit. Here's a little bit of background over here. And mom and dad, if you're there, you can help them find where the edge of the petal is so that they don't get confused. I know we have a lot of different lines happening. And then uh, lastly, with this red color, we're gonna put some dots in the middle so that the little bees can get that nectar. And this is supposed to imitate um, the little nectar sections. You can do as many or as little bit in the middle as you like. All right, let's rinse our brush because it's full of red. The last section of our painting that we still need to think about is the background. So we need to choose a color that is going to go back here. And the colors we need to think about are the cool colors. This is a color wheel. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but it's a way that artists organize their colors in a way that makes sense. Um, half of the colors on this side, those are warm colors because if you look at them, they're hot like the fire. And the colors on this side of the color wheel they're called cool colors because they're cool like the ocean. So let's think about this. Our flower, we painted with the warm colors. So I think for the background, we should paint a background of the cool colors. And that would be some nice contrast. So in our case here, I think I'm gonna go with a blue background, but you are the artist of your own picture, so you can paint yours whatever cool color that you want to. Cool colors are green, blue, or purple. I'm going to go ahead and get started painting my background, and I'm going to pause the video while I do this, and you can do it on yours too. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now you can see I've done this part of my background. Look at your painting and see if there's any more white paper poking through. Aha! I still need to paint this corner, this little dot here, and this section. I need to paint it the same color. If you are still using your medium brush, <clears throat> now might be a good time for you to switch to a tiny brush because these are some tiny little corners we're trying to get into. So I'm gonna actually switch brushes, grab that blue paint for this little section here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna paint this section as well using my smaller brush since I have some small little corners to get into. This little brush can be very helpful. <clears throat> okay, if you wanna be really fancy, you can dot a couple colors, a couple dots of this background color into the middle of your flower, and that might be kind of fun. You certainly don't have to if you don't want to, but um, I like the way that looks. Okay, I did it. This is my finished flower, just like Georgia O'Keeffe. I have emphasized it on the paper. It is large and in charge. Okay, see you next time. Hope you have fun. Bye.